So I am currently on holiday in Portugal and I'm gonna go on a little Pokemon card hunt for some products that I know a bunch of people actually end up buying on holiday and buying these particular Pokemon products for their kids. They go and take them to school and trade and then find out that, well, they're fake, guys. And a lot of shops, just like this one, will have loads of them in there and we're gonna go inside, grab a load of them and then they're gonna open them up as well, just for the fun of it, to show you exactly what they look like. And hopefully, give you guys an idea on what to be on the lookout for when you are trying to buy Pokemon cards when you are abroad. So uh, yeah, let's go. And this is what I am talking about, guys. So this is what a lot of people, when they come on holiday and stuff, they pick up sort of products like this. They are obviously not real. They're like proxy products and stuff like that. And you can tell a lot by the price, but I know a lot of people will get caught out by them thinking, you know, get a load of these and then your kids go take them to school and stuff like that. But no, they are. And there's a lot of things you can tell with them. For example, you've got like the random products that you just don't see in the UK. I think some of these, look, this has got a base set Charizard on the back of it, Evolving Skies. This has got a metal card in the front of it as well yeah definitely going to be grabbing a bunch of these and uh taking them back to the villa to open them up and show you exactly what they are inside here is everything that i picked up guys and it cost me a grand total of 30 euros and 50 cents and we got all this stuff so we got this like chilling rain box here which you can like you know by me who obviously opens stuff it's very obvious that this is not a real product however some of you watching probably won't be aware that these are unreal and i will explain how to tell in a moment we got this one first was nine euros 50. we have an evolving skies box here uh which comes with oh some cards in the bottom of it actually we have a silver tempest kind of blistery thing at a couple of euros a brilliant stars one. They do have some really cool designs on this thing, but I promise you guys, these are not real. We have a selection of Astral Radiance booster packs. Points to anyone who can tell right now why this is fake just by looking at one item on this card, yeah, this booster in particular. And then these, we were the final items I picked up. And I believe these are kind of like metal slash metallic cards in them. £3.50 a pop though on those. Now to quickly tell you how you can tell that these are all fake uh, before we actually open some of these up and see what the cards actually look like inside because that's another way to tell. But quite simply, these are just not products that Pokemon make. And if you're unsure on whether or not Pokemon actually make this stuff your best bet is to head to the pokemon center website online and look at the tcg products you can see out of stock items as well as in stock and what you'll be able to see when looking at that is whether or not the product you're looking at is available on their website if it's not available more than likely it is a fake product but we are going to crack them open because there's some surefire ways to tell that they're fake once you open it as well. All right, so we're going to go for product number one, this chilling rain tin thing. And don't get me wrong, like, these do look quite cool. They're actually in a tin. Pretty cool. Look at the size of this barcode compared to my hand. That is massive. Uh, you can see it does come. It can be easy. You can see why some people who maybe don't really know much about Pokemon can get fooled because you do get the Pokemon cellophane. It's even got the symbols on it. But once you get it open and you start looking, look at the print quality, for example, on the front of it. Can you see it's all pixely? It's been put together by someone. You've got ash on the front here, which is a completely different design to that and stuff like that. You wouldn't normally see the different art styles on the front of a product. And once we open up, oh my God, we've got in here, we've got some chilling rain. And you can see with the booster packs, by the way, and one of the reasons you can tell booster packs are fake is this crimp this sort of jaggedy edge along the top. They also feel extremely thin and the color is off on them as well. We've got that Wolverine Hollow, we've got a Heracross in here, uh, we've got a Haunter and we have a Crushing Glove. But look, you can see a couple of things. The color is not right. The hollow is kind of going across the whole thing here and the back, the color is completely off. It's printed like, Honestly, I don't know if it's coming across well in the camera. And unfortunately, I haven't actually got another card to compare it to, but it's really obvious. And also they have like a glossy feel to them and they're just not quite thick enough. And like, I don't know, let's do a bit of a tear test. But when you tear it, you can see that literally the front of it literally just pulls off like a sticker. But anyway, let's see what we got here as well. We got a little bundle of cards. Got, oh, Metacross VMAX in there. Let's put some. Oh my God, that thing is 
Wait, is that stuck together? Okay, it's stuck together. I thought it was double fig. But for example, look straight away, this Metagross, guys, should be textured and holographic being a VMAX. And it's not holographic even. It's just non-hollow on there. Look, you've got back to front cards. You'll often find in fake ones. Non-hollow. Non-hollow's there as well. More of them. Look, this is a full art. Honey. Wow. Waifu card. But yep, again, fake. All this. I'll probably give these to my kids though. It's a bit of fun. But not for them to take to school. Look at that. We've hit like a blissy alternate art. But again, not, not real fake. You can hopefully, guys, can see how these are fake now when you're actually seeing them looked at. And look at the colors, the fact that none of these are hollow. Do you know what? With the amount of hits you get in these things, I'm going to be gutted if when we do like the brilliant star stuff, if I don't actually get an alternate Charizard, I think that'd be hilarious. Let's see what the booster packs are actually like from inside this. And we have starting off with a bl What the hell? Look at that thing. That hollow energy. Crazy. Metagross in here. Another honey. Look at all these. Hey, Galarian Rapidash. Let's check out this one. This there we go. It's open. Oh, and there we go. We just have a random bundle of cards. Let's see if there's anything big. We've got a V. Again, non-hollow when it should be hollow. Now, let's see what it's like inside, though, on this Silver Tempest. I'd say cool artworks on these boxes, but definitely, definitely not real, guys. Okay, so we have a back-to-front card straight away at the front. We have a... Parasect, this is a texture as well. They were weird. Some of them are glossy finish. They're all printed on different card stock and stuff. It's weird. They're not even all the same. Very strange. Look at V start. This should be textured. We do have another one of these as well. We have a brilliant stars one. Two, one. No. No, it is not. No. And oh my god, we didn't even get Charizard. You buy a fake Brilliant Stars product. I actually expected more hits. I've seen fake products that people buy off Wish and stuff. And you're talking every booster pack is just filled with like alternate arts the whole way through and stuff. I'm a bit disappointed in my hits. I feel like I've been ripped off here. But right, we got a couple of Astral Radiance packs as well. Let's do crack these open. Let's see. Oh, they're so soft. But they do open nicely. And straight off the bat, look shouldn't ever be like that from a pack and oh that's not even a pack this isn't even a card that comes in this set oh my god and look at that it's rolled up the stickers rolled up on it as well like the front there oh my word yeah that's not even a card that comes in uh, astral radiance either i don't actually i know there is mega alakazam so i think that might be a real card design it's just from an older, that's actually from um, XY era. So that's old. Let's see if uh, see if we get another big hit like that. My next one up, let's see. Oh, there's our backwards card. We're going to put that there. And we're going to check the rest of them. Oh, we got an all art. Oh, Sylvia, massive hit there. Massive. Looks like it's got a bit of another card on it as well. Uh, you actually get that with normal Pokemon cards, don't you, to be honest, with those errors. But yeah, look, again, that should be a hollow. That should be a hollow. With texture, with texture. Hollow, hollow, you know, like terrible the hit guys was a melodic v and honestly what the hell let's go last pack on the astral come on give us something big i like the fact let's just go straight to it oh mega size or ex again this is from xy era not sword and shield era so final two items here and they are the proxy ones these are the final fake ones and uh they do look like quite nicely put together products. All right, let's go for the rose gold one first, guys. And uh, I have a feeling these are going to be like sort of gold slash metallic cars. Oh, they are. Oh, these. Look, this looks really cool, though. Look, it's got a little thing to be able to seal it back shut and everything. Oh, my word. Okay, so they're not actually metal. I, oh, what are they? That's Is it maybe printed on a plastic because they're flexible? But look at all the colors. Oh my god, how cool are they? They are really, really cool. Right. Yo, look at that. Okay, Pikachu. I like that. Another Pikachu. A full art Pikachu. Now, guys, these are cool, but there are some massive giveaways in my fake. We have hugely overpowered uh, powers at the top there, and uh, they just really are not right. Like, that's a big giveaway, the power level right there. Oh, we hit Zard. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, another one, another Charizard, no, <laughs> Charizard, oh my god, that's hard for days, wow, oh my god, special livery, I actually need the real version of this, because i got the Bidoof, and I've got the Charizard, I need the special livery Pikachu at some point, someone hit me up about that one, ooh, we have the Nacho Pikachu, this is the uh, one, oh, 
Charles are legit. Now that is an artwork that I don't actually think exists. The rest of the artworks here, I think were legit, but that one doesn't exist. That one does. All right, then let's do this black one then. Let's see if they look similar to the ones that came in the last pack. I wonder if you just get the same ones in each one. Um, if not, oh no, these are all black and gold. Are these all, oh, I like these. See, I actually generally think this is a pretty cool product, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm quite liking these. Especially those Charizards. Oh, my word. A base Charizard. Come off it. How cool is that? We got a base set Charizard as the first one. A Charizard GX from a hidden face there. A Mu V, which is obviously a standard V card, but they made it to this black thing. Look at the sort of pattern and everything x ball it's all embossed it's textured on the front and the back oh my word how cool is this how cool is that card right there that is very very cool oh i love that that is awesome what else we got zakian we got the pikachu we got another zard this one in the black we had it earlier didn't we in the gold in there as well to go along with it that is seriously cool we have the uh, another one of the Libre, sorry, Libre Pikachu, it's not Nacho. A special delivery Pikachu and a Charizard VMAX to finish. So there we go. They are the fake Pokemon products that you will find out in countries like Portugal and Spain and France and places in those touristy like shops. But be aware, you will also find these products on Amazon. I know you might not believe it, but they will be available on there. And Wish, 100% every Pokemon product you buy and wish will be fake or a proxy product so do bear that in mind but at this point i actually want to hear from you i want to hear if you've had any experiences picking up these products or maybe you've done a trade with someone and ended up with it or maybe your kids have done some trades at school and then i'm getting sort of done over where they've traded a charizard and come back with a bunch of these or something like that. i'd be interested to hear all your stories guys so let us know in the comments down below and also, if you have any more comments or questions or anything around like products and where you want to know about buying safe ones and stuff like that, then of course, you've got my website, Evo Cards. You've got Pokemon Center and other shops like Pokerand, Collector Card House, Eclipse Games, other things like that as well, guys. Or you can head to my Discord and there is a whole section in there where you can ask for advice and stuff on Pokemon if you want to find out more about safe places to buy or where it's got good discounts. So do make sure to check it out. The link is in the description down below. Other than that, though, thank Thank you so much for watching guys really hope you enjoyed the video i do give the video a like if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to give the video a share as well stay safe see you in the next one peace